Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Excel tutorial video. This is the last video in the basic Excel course. There will be another course, uh, a more advanced course than this basic course. If you go over to my website, which is www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com, find the page for Excel training and you'll find the links on that page for the advanced course. In this last video, we're going to cover some basic charts or graphs and also inserting comments to the cells on Excel. So first of all, let's say we have some data, say it's sales data for a business. So we have a number of months, I'll start with Jan, then I'll click and drag and we'll go down to December. And then we have these units of sales. These figures could be a monetary value. They could be units sold. But let's put 4,000 and just fill in some figures. Let's have a big jump here. So I'm adding some numbers, all quite random, there's nothing to them. Okay, so let's say we want to create a graph to represent these months and these figures of sales for a business. All we need to do is go to the insert tab at the top here, on the top ribbon. And then we can choose the chart of the graph we want. We have column, which is like a bar chart, line, Pi, bar, area, scatter, and other charts. Now, like I've said in all these videos, you can go through and experiment and see what all of these charts offer. And there are some features to these charts that will be covered in the advanced training series for Excel. For the purposes of this series and for this video, let's just do a column. We can choose to have a 2D column or a 3D column. Let's just choose a basic 2D column. It's called a clustered column. Then our chart will appear on the screen. Now the chart is currently empty because it has no data. So we need to connect this data here onto the chart. So right click on the chart, go to select data. You'll have this chart data range box. Make sure the cursor has been clicked in there. Move over to your data, drag and highlight, click enter, and our chart will appear. Our months are down the bottom and our figures are at the side. We can move the chart around. We can make it bigger by putting the cursor in the corners and get in these drag and pull size options. If we click on the chart, you'll have some extra chart tools appear at the top here. You can change the design of the chart, such as the color, the layout. You can add grid lines or get rid of grid lines. You can choose whether to show certain data on the axis. You can add trend lines. You can add a chart title. And there are other options too under this chart tools. Have a look, experiment, see what you can do with the chart and try different things. Now let me take some time to talk about inserting comments onto cells in Excel. Say for example, we have this big increase in sales for May, it goes from 4,500 to 7,800. 
there may be a reason for that and there probably is in there's such a big jump in sales if we want to make a note of what that reason is right click on the cell and click insert comment you can then insert a comment we could put something like advertising campaign there may be a big advertising campaign we're starting in May once you're finished click away from the box you'll notice there's a red triangle at the top right of the box every time we hover over that our note will appear so you can add notes to all these different cells to give further information to figures or data that has been entered into each cell thank you for taking this course please like please subscribe please share these videos and like i said if you want to take the next course please go to my website freebookkeepingaccounting.com you'll also find a vast treasury of other accounting related videos and courses.